So what's different is the fact that, uh, of course, uh, you know, there's lots of data in, in engineering problems. There is a, an explosion of data which we absolutely must be able to, to exploit so that we can gain insights uh, and a new knowledge uh, with which to inform uh, the creation of, of solutions uh, to these problems. We think that this is the opportunity uh, to, to do this. The opportunity is, is to do this now. Um, there is a, a plethora of, of people around the world right now who are uh, more than ever um, you know, uh, well, well equipped to be able to handle uh, these data and to, to gain insight from these data and to use them to inform the creation of, of, of new solutions. So the problems are across um, uh, in, uh, across sectors in, in industry. So we're, we're talking about you know things like the uh, creation of uh, uh, subsea installations, you know, design of subsea installations in the energy uh, industry, uh, understanding you know the the, um, the properties of, of materials by looking at their uh, microstructure. So things as, as diversely different uh, as that. We could be talking uh, about you know the, the control of a of a nuclear uh, reactor. We could be talking about the, you know, the creation of novel routes uh, in manufacturing. So, so you know, there is a, a plethora of, of different uh, problems which data-centric engineering can, can help solve. So the reason it's important is, again, if you think about the world in which we live, we have uh, lots of global challenges and to solve them you have to apply a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, there can be no barriers to the creation of solutions to, to these problems. So we absolutely need to have a situation where we have openness about the, you know, the knowledge that we're creating, the papers uh, and, and the data. And the create, creation of this uh, journal is, a, of course, a step in the right direction because it is open access. It will allow us to work together infinitely better. The audiences, I mean, if you, if you think about the scope of the problems that data-centric engineering uh, is going to help solve, again, we're talking about practitioners, we're talking about researchers, uh, you know, academics, industrialists, uh, across sectors. Uh, and, of course, you know, we, we could be talking about applied mathematicians, computer scientists, computational uh, uh, engineers, a variety of, of, of people from those disciplines will be very interested in the papers published in data-centric engineering.